Yeah, 2,977 flags, Laura. One for every victim who died on 9-11. It's been 20 years, as you said. Take a look at how impressive this memorial is, which was made by students all afternoon. People have come by stopping by to take pictures and spend time reflecting. We're just going to start this. It takes a lot of boxes. You know, just want to take this row with me. To hold 2,977 flags One, and a lot of volunteers two. to put them in the ground. This is like the only exercise I get, so. One by one. Oh, that worked a lot better. It's just amazing that uh, public safety kids get a chance to do this and learn about this. One, two. About 20 students at Olathe West's 21st Century Public Safety Academy make the temporary memorial. Can I have another group? Thank you. They don't remember 9-11. What were you doing during 9-11? They were born years later. Does your wife still remember what she was doing? You live your life knowing that that event happened, but you don't get the full impact. We like to do a lot of events like this to remind them and honor those that, that fell in the line of duty. Were you ever worried about a plane coming to hit here? Well, they don't remember the day. My mom was like teaching and they weren't allowed to like show anything. It still has deep meaning. Pardon me, flags coming through. It's respecting our heroes of that day. They know what 9-11 is and why it should be remembered. I'm really proud to be doing this and I'm so grateful. In Olathe, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.